Hi, I'm Karen Frischman from Vintage Pilates, and this is Debbie Young. Um, and today we're going to be doing the Cadillac assessment for our program, The Work. It's the third section in the pro uh, four section program, and we do ask for assessments for every section. Um, it's important so that we know for the students who are entering the program that everybody's on the same page so that we can really deepen the understanding into the work. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the entire list of exercises for the assessment. Since there is no um, order for the Cadillac or for the chairs, and you'll see uh, we do have one of those assessments up on Pilatesology as well, I will be calling out the order of the exercises. Um, and today I will be talking about what we're looking for in the assessment. So we're, in general we're going to be looking for the connection to the back, the two-way stretch, the use of the seat. Um, um, and uh, of course the center. So I will be talking about specifically in each exercise what we're looking for and how to maximize it um, and we should get going. All right. All right so the first exercise in the list is the rollback and then the rollback with one arm and in this exercise I'm looking for the connection to the Cadillac. I'm looking for the length through the entire body, the connection through the seat and the center and I'm looking to make sure that the arms are engaged into the back. Good. And that Debbie's using the springs correctly. She's using the resistance and the extension of the spring. Good. Let's just do one more. And let's do the rollback with one arm. So there are two variations in this exercise, and either one of them is fine. You can either cross the arms over to start. Again, we're looking for the connection to the back. And I really want to see that reach through both sides of the body, the length through the arm and the length through the leg. So let's do one more of those, and then let's do one where you roll back with one arm around the waist. Good. Now another variation is one arm around the waist. It's essentially the same exercise. Works the body slightly differently. And either, either version would be acceptable for the assessment. Good. Now the order I'm reading off the exercises in is the order that we'll be using in the assessment. Um, and it's an order that Jay created. It's, it's sort of the basic guideline for the workshop as well. Okay, let's have you turn around. We're going to go to the airplane. Now on this, I'm looking for the connection. I'm looking for the use of the back. Good, press out. Or I'm sorry, Debbie, let's, let's start with the up first. Other up. So roll up. There you go. Good. And then find your length. What I'm looking for is a nice even transition between when you don't have the spring and when you do. I'm looking for the length in the tailbone as you roll up and then the reach through the body as you come out. Good. All right. Let's do one more in that direction and we'll do three in the other direction. Lengthen through the tailbone. Good. Good. And I want to see a nice strong reach into the springs as you come up. So the length through the back. There you go. And then the connection. Good. So there's no slamming of the springs. And you want to minimize, again, that transition between when the spring has tension and when it doesn't. Good. Okay, let's move on to the flying eagle. So in all the exercises, not only are we looking for correct form, good, and lift up, but we're also looking to make sure that you know the setup for the exercise 
and which springs to use which are going to be appropriate for your body. Good. I'm looking for the length in the tailbone. I'm looking for the arch in the upper back, and I'm looking that the body is supported both front to back and top to bottom. Good. One more. Reach down into the spring. Good. Okay, let's move on to the tower and the monkey. <coughs> Good. Now, in this exercise, what we're really looking for is the connection through the back of the body. Good. So as Debbie reaches up, what I'm looking for is that the stomach is pulling in and that she's connected through the back and the seat as she lifts and lengthens up. She's doing this beautifully. And the press up, there's a deep connection into the bar. Good, and again. Good, all right, let's move on to the monkey. <laughs> 